The Lucas Oil Late Mile Dirt Series put on a show at East Bay the entire week. They closed it out with a great Saturday feature race with Dalton Wilson taking home his very first Lucas Oil Late Mile Dirt Series victory, and he was super excited to bring it home. Uh, before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at John Trent Racing. As you can see on your screen, courtesy of My Race Pass, Dalton Wilson came home. The winner, Brandon Shepard, was second. Tyler Herb, third. Garrett Smith, fourth. Devin Rand, fifth. Jonathan Davenport, sixth. Jimmy Owens, seventh. Ricky Thornton, Jr., eighth. Drake Troutman, ninth. And Hudson O'Neill rounded out your top ten. You can see uh, there were a lot of movers uh, coming forward. Drake Troutman t up 21 spots. He started at the very end of the field, and he got a top ten finish, finishing in ninth. Ricky Thornton Jr. moved up 12 spots. You can see Mike Marler finished in 12th. He moved up 17. Hudson O'Neill had lots of troubles early on. He ended up finishing 15th. And, or sorry, he ended up finishing 10th, moved up 15 spots. Uh, and speaking of Hudson O'Neill, let's get into exactly why he had to take a provisional uh, coming into his heat race right here. Uh, he's actually on the pole, and uh, it does not go good because it gets caught up with Garrett Albertson, who's on the outside of him. They're like fenders catch each other, and uh, it spins Hudson O'Neill around. Let's take a look here. And then um, he actually gets airborne because Brandon Shepard kind of drives underneath him, but let's take a look. Yeah, Shepard actually goes airborne because Hudson O'Neill goes underneath of him. But uh, that car would be uh, have lots of damage. Uh, you would t immediately take it to the garage area and uh, have to go to a backup car. He would start the backup car in the B main with uh, Tim McCready as well and uh, kind of right around the back and then just kind of park it and then take the provisional. He McCready would take provisionals. Uh, Brandon Shepard would actually... Uh, have to go in, repair that, uh, that uh, he would have a flat tire, repair that, and didn't really have any damage, and uh, was able to come home with a second place finish uh, after that. So let's just take a look at that again, just to see what happened here. You can see that Albertson and Hudson O'Neill's uh, fenders, like it's stuck together right there. They're kind of stuck already, and you can see that there, he's like, Hudson O'Neill's car is attached to Albertson's car there. And then right there, you see them kind of, it, like, you can see the fender move, and they're detached. And then, bang, hits Shepard, nowhere to go. And, and I mean, we, we ha almost half the field involved in there. Over half the field involved in that uh, wreck. Uh, Shepard got really lucky he didn't have more damage going airborne like that. Uh, testament to the uh, toughness of those Longhorn chassis that he drives. Uh, so that was, like, the big... Big moment there in the heat race. Uh, and then Hudson O'Neill would rally uh, for a 10th place finish after even having some kind of engine troubles during the race as well. He, I, he brought it in uh, to the hot, beat, hot, hot sauce uh, hot pit and uh, they did something to the engine and, and we rallied for a 10th place finish. This is what Garrett Alperson had to say about that incident. Let's take a listen. That one going away with the million dollar question from your perspective, what happened on that initial start? Yeah, man, I hated that for everybody because uh, I think HUD was just trying to keep me up out of the lane so we had a good uh, takeoff there. And uh, I think we were lean on each other when I heard him fire, I fired, and I think I just hooked his door or a quarter or something. Um, it definitely wasn't intentional. I, I, I don't want to make a big mess like that, but uh, not really the way I wanted to win that. But, uh, you know, we got a good car. Uh, hopefully we can put on a good show. I uh, hate it for them guys. So, uh, yeah, see what we can do. Unfortunately for Albertson, he would actually get caught up in an early wreck uh, during the feature. He would bring out the uh, the first caution. Uh, as for what ex exactly happened during the feature, uh, there was a couple cautions early on, but uh, and Tyler Erb led the first 15 laps of the race, uh, and then Dalton Wilson decided to make his move. He worked his way up. Uh, what, did, what did he say? Let's go back over here to my race pass. He worked his way up uh, from, I guess, six, the sixth starting spot. Uh, finally got to Tyler Herb and decided to make his move. Uh, they raced uh, almost side by side for an entire lap. Turbo would edge him out here at the start finish line, but then Dalton would work around him in this uh, ensuing corner here. Let's take a look. You can see Turbo edges him out. And then Dalton drives it down, really gets a really good corner, uh, and just kind of drives right away from Turbo there. 
and uh, would take the lead and not look back for the rest of the race. Uh, there would be another, there would be a couple other cautions uh, throughout the race, and but Dalton Wilson had such great restarts, no one was really ever challenging him. There was a moment when Turbo kind of tracked him down uh, following the uh, second to last re uh, restart. And Dalton kind of caught the the end of the field. It was like the first time they really caught the end of the field. And when you know when they catch the end of the field, you know there's going to be a good race because it usually slows the leader down as they're trying to work through traffic. You get those uh, second place, third place cars kind of are able to uh, catch up to the leader. And that's exactly what happened here. And uh, Turbo was was putting on the pressure. It looked like he might be the one to uh, to get that position back and take home the win. Uh, but uh, he ends up miscalculating a slide job on Boom Briggs. Uh, bangs doors with Boom Briggs really kills his momentum, and uh, Dalton Wilson would pull away, uh, and, and it would really kind of end tur Turbo's chances of winning the race. Let's take a look. You can see here, Dalton does a great job sliding. Turbo tries to do it as well. Boom is there, hits him, makes contact, and really lost a lot of ground there and was not unable to... Uh, really catch him and then I guess a lap later boom Briggs would have I guess I don't know if the contact did something to his car or whatever whatever happened there maybe he had a tire go go down uh, but he would draw a caution and it would be a three lap shootout to the end of the race uh, and turbo really didn't have anything um, for, for Dalton uh, in fact he actually got uh, passed by Brandon Shepard on the last lap and Shepard would come home in that second place spot but fairly exciting race uh, I think probably if you were there at the track, it might have been more exciting given the fact that you had uh, a lot of these drivers like Marler going up 17 spots. You're following him. A lot of good, exciting racing, seeing him weave through the field. You have Drake Troutman doing the same thing, weaving through the field. We got to see him a little bit on flow, uh, but we didn't get to see him really like kind of working through there. And then obviously Ricky Thornton Jr. I was like, all of a sudden he's like in sixth spot. I'm like, whoa, what happened? Uh, and and you, if you're watching Ricky Thornton, you probably got to watch him uh, make mistakes too because he was hitting up, getting up and like cushion. Losing four or five spots, uh, and then he'd have to like work his work his way back up and and try and work that middle, work that bottom, uh, and then Ashton Winger, Ashton Winger, just, just watching him is just really fun to watch because when he hooked that top side, man, he hooked it, and he was the fastest car on the track, but obviously it would bite him too. Uh, because he would he would hop the cushion a couple times and would lose a ton of speed and then lose a ton of spots as well. Um, but Garrett Albertson, he did rally for a 15th uh, uh, place finish after having that being involved in that early accident, but uh, still obviously lost 12 spots. But it was a, it was an exciting race. Uh, I love the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. I still think that, I mean, these guys put on an absolute show. Uh, and congratulations to Dalton Wilson on his very first win. I do not think it will be his last. Uh, he is going to be a threat to win the championship this year. And I think we're going to have a really, really good season ahead of us if the, these Winter Nationals are anything... Um, uh, if there if there any kind of example of what to look forward to, it's going to be an awesome, awesome season. But let me know what you guys made of the race in the comments below.